Welcome to Creepy Stuff. Tonight, we delve into a legend that's been whispered about for centuries. A legend that leaves us questioning what lies beyond the veil of reality. The haunting figure of the Banshee. A warning to all who listen. Once you hear her cry, it might already be too late. In the shadowy corners of Irish folklore, there exists a spirit whose presence foretells only one thing. Death. Known as the Banshee, or Banshee in Irish Gaelic, meaning fairy woman, she is a spectral figure, often described as a woman shrouded in grey or white, her eyes red from weeping, her hair long and silver, sometimes tangled and wild, as if blown by a storm that no one else can feel. The Banshee is not just a simple ghost or restless spirit. Her role is more sinister, more specific. She doesn't cause death, no, but she heralds it. She is the messenger, the one who comes before the final breath. If you hear her wail, a soul close to you is already marked. The tales of the Banshee are as old as the stones that litter Ireland's green hills. It is said that she appears to select families, often those with ancient Gaelic bloodlines, the O'Neills, the O'Briens, the Kavanaghs and others. Her cry, sharp and keening, can be heard from miles away, a mournful lament that pierces through the night air. But what makes her cry so terrifying? It's not just the sound itself, it's the meaning behind it. Imagine, you're lying in bed, the house dark and still. The clock ticks quietly. You hear a faint noise outside, like the rustling of leaves or maybe the distant moan of wind through the trees. But then it grows louder clearer. It's not the wind, it's something else. The sound rises, a wail so sorrowful it makes your skin crawl and you realize with a shuddering fear that it's coming for you or worse, someone you love. Legend says that the Banshee can appear in many forms. Sometimes she's seen as an old woman with a veiled face, her voice cracking as if she wails for the soon to be dead. Other times she may appear as a young maiden, beautiful yet pale, with a voice so clear it seems otherworldly. And then there are those who claim she appears as a raven or a hare, creatures tied to supernatural in Celtic mythology. Regardless of the form she takes, the message is always the same. Death is near. There are stories, old ones passed down through generations, about people who heard the Banshee's wail and knew in that very moment their fate was sealed. One such tale is of the O'Donnell family, a noble lineage. On a cold autumn night, the head of the household heard a long sorrowful cry echo through the forest. He rushed to the window but saw nothing. The next morning word arrived. His brother, who lived miles away, had died unexpectedly in the night. Many claim it was the Banshee's cry that had foretold his death. But there is a darker side to this story. Some say the Banshee doesn't just cry for others, but she can choose who she mourns for. In certain legends, she's tied to those who have committed grave sins or injustices appearing not out of sorrow, but out of vengeance. She cries not to mourn, but to torment, to let her victims know that their time has come and that death is the only escape from her ghostly torment. It's said that such people often fall into madness long before death claims them, driven insane by the endless wailing in their ears. But is the Banshee real? Or is she just a figment of folklore, an ancient symbol of grief and loss woven into the fabric of Irish tradition to explain the unexplainable? 
no one truly knows. What we do know is that those who claim to have heard the wail are convinced, utterly convinced, that what they experienced was real. Too many tales, too many coincidences to brush off entirely. In fact, some say the Banshee's legend has spread far beyond Ireland. There are accounts of wailing spirits in Scotland, in Wales, and even in parts of North America, brought over by immigrants. Is it the same entity, or simply a shared fear of death manifesting in different cultures? Before we close tonight's episode, here's a curious fact. Despite her terrifying reputation, the Banshee is not always seen as evil. In some older stories, she's depicted more as a guardian spirit, a mourner who shows compassion to the dying by easing their passage into the afterlife with her lament. In these versions, her cry is not a curse, but a sad, beautiful farewell. And so, I leave you with this thought. Should you ever hear a soft wail carried on the wind, remember, it may not be the wind at all. It may be the banshee, and she may be closer than you think. <laughs> <laughs>